start for 50 minutes. All right, 50 minutes, starting now. Just so you know, I will do an apartment tour eventually. Um, there's just a couple of things that we still need to kind of organize or get rid of. There's a couple of things that didn't really suit the space, so we're going to get rid of it. But it's sitting kind of in the den for now, just until we are able to get rid of it. But yeah, I'm going to be waiting for my banana bread to be finished baking. I'm just going to read a little bit on the couch. All right, so I am going to give you guys a little bit of a book update. I realize I haven't updated anything since, I think, September of last year so i've gone through quite a few books um, i'm not going to go into depth into any of them or maybe a couple my bookshelf looks a little empty here i have all my books in front of me that i have read just so i can actually like show you guys um but yeah usually it looks prettier here i also have my goodreads pulled up just so i can try and go in chronological order of when i finish them but yeah if you want to follow me or whatever on goodreads it's just my name to maya piper um i update all of my books what i'm reading and yeah it's fun i like it anyways so i think where we left off last year was before the coffee gets cold um i don't have the first book here just because i am lending it to my friend megan but i read that book i think i finished it in december last year there were a few books that i read after uh september but um nothing crazy <laughs> it wasn't like one of my favorites but it wasn't bad like i think it's like you know three stars like it's a cute story and like it, they're really easy to get through this is uh, the second book but they're really short books so the pages you just zoom through them so they're nice little refresher books in between other things uh the next one i read was one flew over the cuckoo's nest um a part of my book club we wanted to read a classic so this is the one everyone agreed on um i rated that one two stars <laughs> i know send me to jail but it just was my favorite i didn't like the writing and i couldn't get into it in the new year this year i started the magnolia park series and i've been wanting to read that one for so long i think since like the summer of last year it's been on my list but Corey got the series for me for christmas so i started reading that in the new year um i read the first two back to back so far i like the daisy hates um perspective better so if you guys don't know this series there's i think so far there's five books but each book follows like a certain couple so the first and the third book and the fifth book <laughs> follow magnolia and bj and then the second and fourth book follow daisy and christian they're kind of around the same time so the first and second book is the same time frame just different perspectives third and fourth book again same time frame different perspectives the book is basically like gossip girl so london high society um that kind of thing but it's basically just like drama between the friend group and relationships and whatnot i'm usually not one for that but i don't know just like reading it and like my own life is like you know i don't have a lot of drama nothing crazy going on so like reading about it i don't know it's just does something <laughs> and i read the color purple in february that was again our book club pick for the month um yeah nothing i can't some of these i can't remember like my brain after i read a book it's like i kind of forget and then after that one i read the third book in the Man magnolia park series again rated it five stars <laughs> it was so good and then after that i jumped into fourth wing so i'm not usually a fantasy girly um, there are like some that I like that I've read, but uh, I really wanted to get into this one and I rated this five stars This was so good. Like I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Zayden in the book whenever I don't know It just does something but oh, I love this book so much. It was so good Next book I read was The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. This was a book club pick basically about everyone randomly one day gets this little box on their doorstep and it has a string which tells them how long of their life they have left and then yeah it just follows a bunch of these characters and somehow they're all kind of connected this was an interesting book this one i rated four stars after that i went into iron flame i was really nervous to read this one because i've heard a lot of mixed things like some people loved it some people thought like it wasn't enough but i loved it again rated it five stars i am very generous with my stars if you haven't noticed um but yeah the only thing i found with it the beginning of it beginning to middle it was kind of repetitive like the same things kind of were happening just 
like different but near the middle to the end of it it picked up and oh, it got so good the way that it ended i can't believe i have to wait until january next year to figure out what happens next anyways oh i love that book <laughs> it makes me want to read more fantasy books i'm thinking of getting into the akatar series but that's gonna have to wait a little bit because again i'll have to buy it and uh yeah that'll have to wait <laughs> Yeah, um, I bought this series. It was like $50 off, so I mean, I had to. <laughs> Anyways, next I read uh, Tales from the Cafe. After reading like the fantasy stuff, I just wanted like something short and small that I'll get through quick. Um, these ones, like, they're not anything crazy. I think I've rated the first three of them just three stars because it's just a little palate cleanser. <laughs> then I got into The Book of Doors. So this one, I haven't really heard anything about it. I was at the bookstore with my friend and I saw it. I was like, hmm, that sounds kind of good. But uh, yeah, the beginning of this one was a little bit slow, but then it picked up and yeah, I liked it. <laughs> I read Before Your Memory Fades. So this one, <laughs> I actually started reading it as like an, or listening to it as an audiobook because I was just reading for so much. I had a lot of days off, so I was reading really quickly. And I just wanted to like try and listen to one, but oh, he was talking so slow and I even put it on two times speed but then I like I can't listen to audiobooks and do something at the same time because then I'm not really like taking it in so I ended up just like sitting there and then I would read it as he was talking so I don't know, audiobooks just aren't for me next I read funny story by Emily Henry this one oh, was so cute I read it so quickly I was a little nervous because I did read The Happy Place by Emily Henry last summer. It wasn't my favorite romance book. I think I rated it like three stars. It was cute and everything, but there was just something about the book that like it wasn't my favorite. So going into this one, I was like, okay, let's see. But this one was so different than Happy Place. Miles and Daphne. Oh, it was just so cute. I liked it. <laughs> then the next book I read was The Husbands. This one was for a book club. Uh, this one had an interesting storyline. So it was basically this girl, she got home from a night out with her friend and then there's this random guy in her apartment. She eventually figures out that like it's her husband somehow. She didn't have a husband before, but she does now. Uh, and then every time he goes up into the attic, a different husband comes down. So she has this like endless supply of husbands. Um, it was an interesting book. It was a little repetitive. I think she could have done something a little more with the storyline, add a little more humor in it just to make it a little bit better. But yeah, it was okay. I rated it three stars. Now I'm reading The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Um, this one has been taking me quite a bit to finish. But this one, I do not want to pick the book up. <laughs> Usually after 100 pages, they start to pick up a little bit and then it gets more interesting. I'm on page 310. It started getting a little bit better like 15 pages ago and a little bit easier to follow but still not my favorite. Like first of all I didn't realize it was set in like the late to late 1800s early 1900s um so that's a little interesting <laughs> but then just the t like the time jumps back and forth so I can't get into it because I'm constantly just like, wait, wait, like, where are we right now? And then I just feel like nothing has really happened for all this time. But I'm going to try and finish this, like, really quickly. <laughs> I just don't want to, I want to finish it because I'm already so far into it. But, man, I just want to get it over with. This is probably a long clip. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be putting in. I just wanted to update you guys on the books I've read because they're so cute. And I love them. And I love my bookshelf. <laughs> but yeah, thanks. I'll show you guys when the banana bread's done. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear the construction outside. They're like painting the balconies, but um, it's done. I can't wait, but unfortunately I have to wait for it to cool off before I even take it out of the pan. So 
I'll have a slice when Corey gets home. This is the best banana recipe I've ever tried. My mom and I tried a few and then we had a really good one and then we lost the recipe and then we tried some more and we couldn't find a good recipe. But this one, I have made it, I don't even know how many times, but every single time it turns out so good. So, mwah! <laughs>